chalk cliffs rise to form a shelf, above which, high in the sky, seagulls fly. And, as on Castle Hill I stand and look over, there before me is the town of Dover. Not far away, deal basks in the summer sun, and the sound of voices, young and gay, echo from the shores where children play. One step beyond is Sandwich. Here, they say, time stands still. Not so, for it was to this town the strangers came, Roman, French, Dutch and Dane. And round about is another scene of villages, farms and pastures green. And the songbirds return to the orchard bough in Whitecliff's country, now. And as the sun sets to make way for night, still ablaze with light, Dover Harbour opens its arms and welcomes the stranger to England's charms. Deal, sandwich, and far beyond still sleep, tired from an exhausting day. Suddenly the cock crows and greets the dawn, and the songbirds sing on the orchard bough in White Cliff's country. Now. White Cliffs Country. It stretches from Dover to Sandwich Bay. Dover Coast Guard maintain a 24-hour watch across the English Channel. The nerve center of the operation is the radar screen. Vigilance by Coast Guard officers ensures the safety of the ships who sail in this busy waterway. Visitors to White Cliffs Country find it exciting and full of variety. White Cliffs Country begins at Dover the busiest passenger port in the world. From Dover Harbour, a modern fleet of ships make daily trips to the continent. At sea, passengers can enjoy onboard luxury as they journey to Calais, Boulogne and Ostend. Dover's history can be traced back to the Iron Age. Against the backdrop of this historic past, modern Dover enjoys a fine reputation for the welcome, the interest and the high standards offered to its visitors. In 1970, a most spectacular archaeological find revealed the Roman painted house. Beautifully preserved, the wall paintings and the underfloor heating system indicate just how advanced Roman culture and technology were. High on a hill overlooking the English Channel is Dover Castle. 
For over a thousand years, it has served as a bastion against foreign invaders. Dover Town Hall dates back to the year 1203 and was once used as a hospice for travellers and pilgrims. Inside, stained glass windows, historical artefacts, and the recreation of the old town jail all add to make it a special tourist attraction. The History Museum and the Transport Museum are two more attractions in Whitecliffe's country. Crabble Mill, an original water mill, still operates today. A tour of this famous site reveals how its famed stone ground wholemeal flour is made. The tour completed, the water mill restaurant awaits you. Here you can enjoy a wide choice of meals and snacks, many made from the natural products produced at the mill. Unquestionably, the White Cliffs experience is one of Britain's most exciting attractions. Within its complex, the remains of the old Roman garrison Dubris have been discovered. Inside, an enthralling world unfolds as Dover's historic past is brought to life. been the home of the Royal Marines for more than a century. A seaside town, it has a strong maritime background. A mile or two from Deal's seashore is the protected anchorage of the Downs. It's been a safe harbour to ships for many years. Winding their way from the seashore, narrow streets remind us that this was once the way of the smugglers. Built in 1795, Time Ball Tower once used its signal on the roof to give time to shipping out in the channel. The museum inside Time Ball Tower has on display items relating to time and telegraphy. Deal is fortunate in having a costume museum, a Victoriana museum, where rare pieces of furniture are on display, and a fine maritime museum, which includes many interesting exhibits. Built by Henry VIII, Deal Castle was one of a chain of coastal defences which also included Walmer Castle.
now the official home of the Lord Warden of the Sink Ports. Deal has an extensive beach and places of interest and entertainment to make it the ideal family holiday resort. The famous sink port of Sandwich is a town of infinite charm, rich in history. Many strangers came to this part of the coast. The first were the Romans. They built a fortress at Richborough Castle. It was known as Rutupiae. Its stout walls still remain today, a true reminder of the Roman invasion. Flowing gently past the town is the River Stour. During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, sailing barges could be seen at the quayside, unloading their cargoes of coal, grain, salt and timber. Today, modern craft decorate the riverside, while to the delight of the visitors, ducks invade the quayside. Fishergate and the Barbican are two historic landmarks sited on the quay at Sandwich. The Guildhall was built in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I and apart from a new extension added in 1970, it's seen little change over the centuries. Spanning a period of 120 years, a collection of toys, dolls, dolls' houses and miniatures can be seen at the Precinct Toy Museum. A short walk from the town is the White Mill. Lovingly restored, it is a folk museum worthy of a visit. Sandwich has three ancient churches, St. Clement's, the Church of St. Mary the Virgin, and St. Peter's. St. Clement's is the parish church of Sandwich. St. Mary's and St. Peter's are now redundant, but remain open to the public. The narrow streets and timbered buildings of Sandwich transport us back to the Middle Ages. To follow the way of the old town wall is to appreciate the true charm of this ancient sink port. The rural scene is patterned with picturesque villages. Footpaths and trails. vineyards and well laid out gardens which make Whitecliffe's country a place of rare beauty. A short distance from the village of Wingham is Howlett Zoo and within striking distance of Whitecliffe's country is its sister park, 
Port Lim. Also within the boundaries of Wingham Village is the Wingham Bird Park. White Cliffs Country has a whole range of sporting facilities and attractions. Hotels, guest houses, restaurants, and country pubs are in abundance. They all offer quality service. In spring, summer, autumn, or winter, a visit to White Cliffs Country is a memory to cherish forever. <laughs> 